The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Thirteenth chapter, text number eight through twelve. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on September 30th, 1973, in Bombay, India. Amanitam Madambitam Ahimsha Khanti Ajabam Achajo Pasanam Shocham Sajjam Atma Minigraha Indriyarthi Subhairagyam Anahankara Evacha Janmamitra Jarabhyadhi Dukkha Dhusana Darsana Asakti Dhanavi Sangha Putra Daru Viharishu Nitrangcha Samachitattam Istanisto Hopatishu Maicha Ananda Jogina Bhakti Rabbavicharini Bibikta Zisha Sevitam Roti Janasan Arati Janasan Sadi Adhyatma Gyanam Nitattam Tattva Gyanatha Darshanam Itaj Gyanam Iti Proktam Agyanam Jad Ata Annatha <coughs> Sri Krishna has explained. The question was, Khetra Khetraga and Gyanam and Gyam. The question, what is this body? I'm overlapped. So, Krishna has explained already. Visibi Bahubi Bhuda Gitam Chandavi Bibidhi Pratha Brahma Sutra Padesh Chaiva Hitu Madhi Minister. There are many scriptures uh, and many philosophers Rishi, as I explained yesterday, Nasu Rishi Jasamatangram Pindam. He is not a philosopher who hasn't got a different opinion. Because this material world is a practically a challenge to the Supreme Authority. The Supreme Authority, Krishna, He is the Bhokta, actually, He is the enjoyer. Bhoktaram Jagvata Vasam Sarva Loka Mahesaram Sridam Sarva Bhutana Jatta Maam Shanti Michit. That point is missing. Real enjoyer or proprietor is Krishna. Bhoktaram Jagvata Vasam Sarva Loka Mahesaram. He is the proprietor. Sarva Loka. Not only of this Loka earthly planet, but there are innumerable planets within this universe, and there are innumerable universes also, not one universe. Jasya prabhā prabhavato jagadanna koti. Jagadanna means universe. It is just like egg set or no. You can see this universe, the sky is uh, a horizon. So it is just like egg set. All the planets and the universes, they are egg set. Therefore they are called Anna, Jagadanna, Brahmanna. <coughs> so this Jagadanna, uh, and Brahma is called Jagadanna Natha. Jagadanna Natha means Brahma. That as in each department for management there is a manager. Similarly, in each Brahmana 
there is a manager who is called Brahma. And each planet there is also a manager or head. That is the system. And the supreme head is Krishna. Uh, <coughs> in the, just like we have a manager, a head uh, on this planet, now we have divided. Formerly this planet was one unit and there was a, one head, the emperor. Just like Yudhichi Maharaj was the emperor of the whole world. Urikhit Maharaj, all kings formerly, Vivek became king, emperor. He ruled over the whole planet. In each and every planet there was a ruler. But now, in the days of democracy, there are so many rulers, practically each and every one of us is a ruler. This is democracy. But uh, actually the arrangement is that the ruler should be one, and the supreme ruler is Krishna. Ruler means Ishara. So there are so many Isharas. Uh, Ishara means that actually there must be one Ishara, one ruler. But because here in this material world, every one of us is trying to become Ishara. Therefore the Mahabadi philosophy is that everyone is Ishara. That's all right. But uh, that Ishara is not sublime. I may become Ishara amongst my disciples, but I am not the Supreme. I am not Ishara of everyone. Uh, the Ishara is actually Krishna. Ishara Parama Krishna is Hastas. There are Isharas, rulers. That's all right. But the supreme ruler is Krishna. Ishara Parama Krishna. Satchidananda Vigraha. Uh, this is stated in the Brahma Samhita. And Krishna also says, Matta Parataram Nanyat Kinchi Jasti There is nobody else superior than me. So that is the fact. People are searching after Ishara. Can you show me God? Uh, there is no God. Uh, God is dead. So many philosophers and theories are there. But actually, there is God. Here is God, Krishna. Uh, Ishara Parama Krishna. Sachidananda Vigraha. Ekola Ishara Krishna. In Chaitanya Chaitamrita, it is said that only Ishara is Krishna, the Supreme. Ekola Ishara Krishna, Arasabhita. All others, they are servants. Nobody is actually Ishara. I mean, find it practically. Everyone in this material world, he may become uh, a Ishara in his group, but he is also controlled by somebody superior. And that is the position of this relative Ishara. Uh, but Krishna is absolute Ishara. Nobody is Ishara above him. That is Krishna. <coughs> so, uh, everyone is trying to be Ishara. This is the material world. Everyone is trying to be Ishara. <coughs> so Krishna says that Rishivi Bahuvi Gita, because everyone is trying to be superior. Nasu Manijas Samatam Rabhindam, that every philosopher must give his own opinion. And it, will, it must be refuted by another. Therefore, Shastra says, that in this way you cannot ascertain what is the reality. Uh, if you want to understand the reality by your arguments, by reasoning power, uh, that is not possible. Because I may be 
very nice arua, but another person may be better arua. He can defeat me, and that is going on. Therefore, uh, simply by arguments you cannot reach the absolute truth. That is not possible. Tarka pratishtha. And if you simply depend on the sruti, srutaya vibhinna, the Vedic literatures are different, sam yajuri kathadva. And not only that, other scriptures there are, srutaya vibhinna, nāsu muniṃ jasamatam na vibhinna, dharma satattam nihitam guhāya. To understand, uh, religious principle, it is very difficult. Therefore, our duty is Mahajana Jena Gatasa Pantha. We have to accept that way which is uh, given by the Mahajan. Uh, Mahajan. <coughs> we are sometimes in difficulty to find out the Mahajan, who is Mahajan. Uh, that Mahajan is also described in the Shastras. Who can be accepted, the greatest authority, Mahajan. Uh, that is stated in the sixth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, Sambhu, Narada, Sambhu. They are Mahajan. Sambhu means Brahma. Brahma is Mahajan. Sambhu, Narada. Naradmuni is Mahajan. And Sambhu, Lord Shiva, he is also Mahajan. Sambhu, Narada, Sambhu. Kumara. Four Kumaras. Sanat Kumar, Adi. They are also Mahajan. Kopil, Kopil Dev, who expounded that uh, Sangha philosopher Kapil Dev, he is incarnation of God. Kumara Kapila Manu, Sangha Manu, he is also authority. Manu's name is also mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. Imam Vivasati Jugam Pratavan Ahama Bayam Vivasyan Manavet Prahu. So therefore Manu is also Mahaja. His authority. There is Manu Sanghita. Our Vedic system is conducted. The law, the lawgiver is Manu. From Manu, the Manusha, man, these words have come. Manu. Descendant of Manu, human society. Manusha. So, Prahlada, Prahlada Maharaj is Mahajan. Janak, Janak Maharaj. Prahlada Janaka Bhishma, Bhishma Dev, grandfather Bhishma Dev, the grandfather of the Pandu, he is also Mahajan. <coughs> Prahlada Janaka Bhishma, Bali, Bali Maharaj, he is Mahajan. Vyasaki, Sukhdev Bhushan, and Jamaraj, he is also Mahajan. So we have to follow the footsteps of the uh, Mahajan, otherwise we shall be revealed. Krishna therefore he says, Vishibi Bahuda Gitam. There are many uh, saintly persons, great sages, and they have spoken in various ways, but uh, Krishna concludes Vedanta Sutra. Vedanta Sutra he gives a fans because this Vedanta Sutra comes from the disciplic succession of Brahma. Brahma Sutra. Lord Brahma, Krishna uh, instructed Brahma, Tene Brahma Rida Adikavai. Adikavai is Brahma. And Krishna instructed him. Tene Brahma. Brahma means Veda. Sabda Brahma. The Sabda Brahma was instructed to Lord Brahma by Krishna. 
Then Krishna is the original Guru. Oh. Therefore Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Imam Vivasati Jugam Praktavan Aham. This yoga system, Bhagavad Gita yoga system, I first of all spoke to the Sun God, Vivasan Manaviprahu, and the Sun God whose name is Vivasan, he spoke to his son Manu, Manu Ikha Kavibrahi, and Manu spoke to his son Maharaj Ikha. Maharaj Ikhaku is coming from the dynasty of the sun god, Vivasam. There are two Kshatriya families, one from the moon god, another the sun god. So, Maharaj Ramchandra appeared in the family of the Surya Vamsa, Ikhaku, Maharaj Ikhaku. So, this is the parampara system. Uh, and everything is described in the Brahma Sutra by Vyasdev. Vyasdev happens to be the disciple of Narada. Narada happens to be the disciple of Brahma. And from Vyasdev, uh, Madhyacharya, uh, then from Madhyacharya, disciple succession, uh, the, Madhavendra Puri. Madhavendra Puri was the spiritual master of Ishar Puri. Ishar Puri was the spiritual master of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the spiritual master of the six Goswamis of Vrindavan. Rup Sanatan, Bhatta Raghunath, Sajiv Gopal Bhatta, Das Raghunath. So, from the Goswamis, then uh, Kaviraj Goswami, Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur, then <coughs> Jagannath Das Bhavaji, then Bhakti Vinod Thakur, uh, Gaur Kishan Das Bhavaji, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, and we are servant of Bhakti Siddhanta. So there is a disciplic success. That parampara should be followed. Even parampara prātham me mangrāja If we want to understand really Vedic literature, then uh, we must follow the parampara system. Uh, there are four sampradayas, parampara, uh, the Rāmānu sampradaya, Madhyācārya sampradaya, Vishnu Sāmi sampradaya, Nimbāta sampradaya. So we belong to the Madhyācārya sampradaya. Fortunately, all these acharyas, even Sankaracharya, they appeared from South India. These sampradaya, acharya sampradaya is going on all over India. So every sampradaya has got his commentary on the Brahma Sutra. Therefore, Krishna says, yeah, Brahma Sutra Padahisya Yuga. Unless a sampradaya, the four sampradaya, they do not comment on the Brahma Sutra, he not, they, that sampradaya is not accepted. And if you do not accept, accept the sampradaya, sampradaya of Vihinasti, Mantrasti, Vipulamata, if you do not take your initiation mantra from the sampradaya, then it is useless. Now there are so many apasampradaya, and they do not come in disciple succession. Uh, but becomes guru, teacher. Therefore everything is topsy-turvy. Nobody has got fixed idea what is God. Uh, everyone has created his own philosophy. The whole thing is now confused. Therefore, Krishna specifically mentions Brahma Sutra. Brahma Sutra Padishtaiva, Hitu Madhvi Ministri. The Sampradaya must have understanding of the Brahma Sutra, Vedanta Sutra. So all the Sampradayas 
they have got their commentary on the Vedanta Sutra and even Sankaracharya, but his commentary is not accepted by the Vaishnava Acharya because he has uh, tried to uh, derive some meaning, interpretation. But there is no question of interpretation. Uh, when the things are clear in the Brahma Sutra, all the sutras are very clear. You don't require any interpretation. You can expand the explain in very elaborately. That is another thing. But you cannot go beyond the sutra. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu therefore says, Mayavadi bhasya sunile hai sarbona. Mayavadi bhasya means sankar sarirak bhasya of the Brahma Sutra. Uh, if you hear the sarirak bhasya, then you will be doomed. Because you will be godless. Uh, therefore, it has been forbidden by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all the Vaishnava Sampradaya, Sramana Sampradaya, Matricharya Sampradaya, they all, uh, I mean, say, disagree with the commentary of uh, Sankaracharya, Sarirak Bhastra, Brahma Sutra. So far, we are concerned. Uh, Madhva Gauriya Sampada. Uh, our acharyas, they took it, Simadha Bhagavatam, as the right commentary on Brahma Sutra. Bhasyam Brahma Sutrana Vidartha Paribhinghitam. This Simadha Bhagavatam is the real bhasya of Brahma Sutra. So the Gauriya Sampradaya did not make any commentary on the Brahma Sutra because they took it, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took it as Srimad Bhagavatam as a natural commentary because Srimad Bhagavatam is also made by Vyasdev. And Vyasdev is the original author of Brahma Sutra. So author made his own commentary so there is no need of another, uh, another kind. This is the Gauriya Siddhanta, Gauriya Vaishnava Siddhanta. But sometimes back uh, in Jaipur, there was a challenge that the Gauriya Sampradaya has no commentary on the Vedanta Sutra. So at that time, Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur was requested because he was grand scholar, grand old man scholar at that time, living at the now. So he, he was very old at that time, so he authorized Baladev Vidyabhusana. Then you do it. There was no need, but people were demanding, where is your commentary on the Vedanta Sutra? So Baladev Vidyabhushan, with the order of Govindaji at Jaipur, he wrote the commentary on Brahma Sutra that name is Govinda Bhasa. So the Gauriya of Brahma Sampradaya, they have worked also commentary on Brahma Sutra that is required. Uh, <coughs> so Krishna has explicitly explained the Brahma Sutra Pada is Chaiva, Hetumad, Hetumad Vibhinishtika. Uh, the Brahma Sutra is called therefore uh, Naya Prastha, with logic and reason. Hetumad, uh, cause and effect, everything. Because people like to understand on the basis of philosophy and reasoning, everything. Yes, that is required. Uh, any understanding without philosophy, that is sentiment. And philosophy without religious conception is mental speculation. These two things are going not combined all over the world. There are many so-called religious systems, but there is no philosophy. 
Therefore, the so-called religious system does not appeal to the modern educated person. They are giving up religion, uh, either Christian, Muslim, Hindu, uh, simply uh, formalities, rituals, they do not like. They want to know everything on the basis of philosophy. That is Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is based on philosophy, this system, Krishna Bhakti. Bhagavad Gita means Krishna Bhakti. Devotion to Krishna. Krishna consciousness. That is Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita, the teaching is Manvana Bhagavad Bhakta Madhyaji Mahanamaste. This is Bhagavad Gita. Always think of it, Krishna conscious, pure and simple. Manmana bhavamad bhakta madhyaji mahagna vasturi. Everywhere Krishna has stressed uh, on his personality. Aham adhirhi devana. I am the origin of all the devatas. Matta paradhanam nana kinchijasti dhanam dhaya. Aham sarvasya prabhava. Matta sarvam pravartate, iti matya bhajante maana, buddha bhava samanit, everything is there. Uh, so, sarvadharmaan paritajya, maam ekam, maam ahom, ni. So, in every verse, every chapter, uh, Krishna, maya sattva mana prattva, jugam janjana madasa, Mayasa, mai asakta. One who is attached to me, asakta mana, mind attached to me, that is yoga. Yogi nama bhi sarvesa, madhgata, antaratmana, madhgata. Again, what? Madhgata, antaratmana, sadhyavan bhajate juma, sami jukta tamoma. So everything is given stress. Krishna, but the rascal commented us, they want to make minus Krishna. This rascal ram has played havoc in India. This rascal so-called commented us, they want to avoid Krishna. Therefore, this Krishna consciousness movement is a challenge to this rascal. It is a challenge. That you want to make Krishna without Krishna. Uh, this is nonsense. But uh, if one surrenders to Krishna, uh, Sarvatmanaja saranam saranam gatu mukunda. If one has surrendered fully to mukunda, for there are so many duties. Uh, therefore Krishna assures that if you surrender to me, if you think that you have not worshipped others, and if you are, you are sinful thereby, Krishna says, Masucho aham kwa sarva papi bhamokhaishtani. I shall give you protection. So this is Krishna consciousness. Try to understand and follow. Thank you very much.